I'll try to be quick. Uh, so yes, Boost, the new version of the markets protocol uh, for Lotus that currently supports, it's going to be a tool for storage providers as well as some client tooling um, that includes the existing version of the deal protocol V11 and also introduces a new version of the deal protocol V12 that allows you to select data transfer and gives us some other neat types. Uh, when we were building out Boost, one of the things that we wanted to do for storage providers was give them access to more information into their system. So this is a currently a design mock-up for the UI and what we wanted to showcase is the availability of information. While the web UI is really good for small scale miners that don't have a lot going on, as we've been talking with very large enterprise storage providers, uh, this gets very challenging for them. But the advantage is there's a GraphQL endpoint that they'll be able to curl and query and we can build CI, CLI tooling on uh, so that they can start operating on you know massive scales of tens of thousands of deals. Um, so this is really good. Um, and so we can move on to the next slide. With this, as I mentioned, we introduced new data transfer protocols for storage. Uh, one of these comes with HTTP transfers. So we have a lot of folks who are building car files and uploading those to servers like S3 to then transfer them over to storage providers. And so what we built is a, a way to make that into an online deal. So now when you're negotiating, you can say, uh, hey, here's my car file. Here's the compi for it go grab it, the storage provider will immediately download and store that file. Um, the nice thing I mentioned earlier, Textile has shipped support with this, which has been really nice because they've had to pull in a lot of these data and serve it to storage providers themselves. Um, and now what we've done is skipped all of that gap so they can just say, hey, storage provider, the car files over here, go get it, make the deal. Um, and we've also seen some, some 20X speed improvements in some of the initial tests for folks over the current storage protocol uh, speed, which is really good. Also. We added support for the HTTP over LibP2P protocol uh, that's been around in LibP2P for a while. And this allows a very lightweight streaming protocol. And so we've been working with the Estuary team, uh, with the ARG team to integrate into field client and Estuary. And so our goal is to roll that out next week and start testing with some of these storage providers. Um, and over the, all this whole process for, for both uh, textile and for estuary, they're able to fall back to V11. So for folks who haven't upgraded to boost yet, it's not a problem. They can use the legacy protocol um, and move on with their day. Next slide. So with this, there's boost.filecoin.io. We've got a bunch of docs there um, and we'll be adding tutorials as well and try to create as much information there as possible. Um, we also released some utility commands with Boost. So there's a Boost client, which folks can use to execute and make deals, check deal statuses, things like that. And then we also have a Boost X utilities command. Um, we discovered that people were going around and trying to figure out like different tools to build their car files and to calculate comp and all of that. And so we tried to bring all of that tooling to Boost so that it makes making deals much easier to do. Um, for folks who don't know what CID Gravity is, CID Gravity is tooling that's built on top of the Lotus process to allow folks to kind of automatically configure their storage providers to, you know, handle certain deal rejections, do certain analysis, and we've been working with them and they've already updated to support the latest for Boost, which will give them some additional information to continue to build tooling because one of the things that we wanted to do with Boost was allow more extensibility of these underlying processes. And this kind of showcases the support that we're doing there. Next slide. So there's a link here to the storage provider AMA demo we did last week. Uh, we don't have enough time to go into the demo here, uh, but it was about 15 minutes and you can see Anton going through the whole deal flow process. You can see a lot of what's going on in the UI, see all the new snap deal stuff in use, which is really great. Um, and then on in terms of rollout, we're going to be announcing a beta phase for early adopters in the next couple of weeks. We want to finish up integration uh, rollout with Estuary before we roll into that. Um, and then we're aiming for that full launch in mid-May. Uh, and then with prepping for launch, we're also starting to look at what's next. So working on scaling for these large enterprise storage providers so that they can handle onboarding, you know, hundreds of terabytes of, of deals per day. Um, and then also looking at uh, planning various support for either HTTP and or free retrieval for BitSwap. Um, so more to come. If you want to follow along, join the Boost uh, channel on Firecoin Slack. Thanks.